Good afternoon, you guys. Good afternoon. I have a great word. As you can see here on my screen, I found the picture that says prophetic word. Greater is coming. <laughs> greater is coming. Like Jacqueline Carter. Greater is coming. Okay. Um, greater is coming. I have received a couple of words, actually, um, that I want you guys to look at. And that's why I have here my browser on the screen. So you can uh, see for yourself what it is saying. And then I'm going to read a couple of um, scriptures for it. And then I'm getting up off of here. Okay. So the first word is restitution. Restitution. I'm going to make this browser a little bigger so you guys can see it. Um, so restitution is the restoration of something lost or stolen to its proper owner. Mm, that sounds so good. <laughs> uh, the similar words is return, restoration, replacement, surrender, yielding, and recovery. And then it goes to say on line two, recompense. For injury or loss. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So, um, this prophecy, this word was given to me back in uh, March 23rd, 2023. The first time, though, it was given to me. Uh, back in February 24, 2023. So during that time, God was speaking and he was just dropping bombs, dropping words, dropping nuggets um, on me that particular day, February 24, 2023. And the words that he was giving me, uh, one of them that you see on the screen, restitution, restitution, recompense, which we're going to pull that one up next. But let's go down here. Let me see how I do this. Okay. As you see right here, it says recompense for injury or loss means compensation. Recompense. Reparation. Damages. Uh, let's go reimburse repayment reward me oh that is not me that's not me but anyway you get the picture you get the picture of what restitution is so i begin to look up um restitution hold on wait a minute let me let me, let me get this so sorry okay so i looked up some um uh, verses that um would specify um restitution uh will go into details more on what restitution means 
It says Exodus 22, 2 through 3. Restitute, uh, restitution, Exodus 22, 2 through 3. So that's the 22nd chapter, the second through the third verse. If the thief is caught while breaking in and is struck so that he dies, there would be no blood guiltiness on his account. But if the sun has risen on him, there will be blood guiltiness on his account. He shall surely make restitution if he owns nothing. Then he shall be sold for his thief. So God is about to pay you back for everything. Oh my God. For everything that the enemy thought he stole from you. God is about to restore everything that the locusts and the cankeron. <gasps> Woo! Listen. Listen. We about to walk into our Goshen season. Uh, God reminded me of the story, Joseph, how Joseph um, brother sold him into slavery. And because uh, they, they thought he was going to be killed off, you know, they was trying to get rid of him because he was um, his father's favorite child. And so they was just trying to get rid of him. Like, listen, he got to go. And so they sold him off into slavery to um, to Pharaoh. And um, God gave him favor. God gave him favor in the midst of controversy. God gave him favor. Joseph owned so much. He owned so much. Let's see what the word Goshen means. Let's take a look. Goshen. Ah, look at what Goshen means. Goshen means a place of comfort and plenty. A place of comfort and plenty. I gotta make this screen wild, cause listen, I wanna, I wanna teach this thing how I feel it. Oh, did I say Joseph? It was Joseph. Yeah, cause Jacob was his. I, I don't know what I'm talking. <laughs> Oh my God. Um, so listen, listen. God is about to reward his people. All your labor is not in vain. All that you have done, all that you have sown, uh, everything that you have done that that gratifies um, the Lord in your life, that, that, that glorifies God in your life, God is about to bless it. Even the people who has taken from you, the people who has taken from you, false prophets and all, where they was just, you know, using your hurt, your pain, all of that just to gain money, gain fame from your name, just to gain wealth off of you. God is about to bless his people. God is about to bless his people. Exodus 22, 7 says, if a man gives his neighbor money or goods to keep for him and it is stolen from the man's house house 
if the thief is caught, he shall pay double. So all of these verses is talking about restitution of how God is about to restore everything that you thought you lost. Everything that somebody has done. Oh, yes, God. Everything. Yes, Lord. Everything that the enemy meant for evil, God is turning it around for your good. My good, our good. They plotted against you. <laughs> they plotted to take you down. They may have took your house, your car, everything that the enemy thought. My God, my God, my God, Jesus. Everything that the enemy thought that he stole from you, God is about to reward it back to you. Back to you. Now let's go to the next word, which means the same thing, but I just really want you guys to get this and really understand uh, what the Lord is saying in this hour. Now let's go to recompense, which you heard me say it. Um, okay. It means to give back in return. Let me go to the definition. Let's do the same thing. Let's see what's going on. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Vengeance. Vengeance and recompense. My goodness. The Lord said, Vengeance is mine, says the Lord, and I will repay. Oh my God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank God for the Holy Ghost. Thank God for being on the Lord's side. Thank God for being on the winning side. Because what the what 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 they meant for your evil. God gonna turn it round for your good. The plots, the plans, the schemes of the enemy against your life. Oh my God, God is about to give it back to you. Double for your trouble. And I ain't the one that likes to talk on blessings, but due to the fact Blessings has been taken out of context from um, the people who love money. I like for you to understand that your life has to line up with the word. And then the blessings come automatically because as a child of God, you're automatically blessed. You're automatically blessed. The earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. So you see recompense right there. Recompense right there to give back. And Luke 14, 12, 14 says, Jesus is teaching that we should give to those who cannot give in return. He states that thou shall be blessed for they cannot recompense, give back thee for thou shall be recompensed like you shall be rewarded 
at the resurrection of the just. Oh my God. That's a powerful scripture. That's in the NIV version. That's powerful. That's powerful. Now, let's see the other word that he gave me the other day. What the enemy meant for evil, God has arrested out for my good. It was meant to kill me, sent to destroy me. And I thought that it would. And I thought that it should. Um, let's see. Oh, I got to give you. Um, He gave me Goshen on March the 23rd, 2023. So you'll know when these prophecy came. And then he gave me Recompense. Um, on February the 24th. So the same day that he spoke, the first time he spoke restitution to me, he also turned around and gave me recompense. And he gave me compensate as well. Which all of it means the same. Let's see what this is here. Okay, I won't share that one. That one is for me. But I am going to share provision. Provision. Um, wow. Oh, my goodness. Like I say, he, uh, he speaks so much. But I just want you to understand that it is your season for grace, for favor. It is your season to reap what I have sown. It is our season. So he gave me the word provision as well the other day. And um, I began to look up the verses for provision, uh, what, it, what it actually stands for or stood for. Um, it said, and my God, Philippians 4, 19, and my God will supply all your needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. Then he turned around and say, Matthew 6, 26, look at the birds of the air that they do not sow nor reap nor gather into barns, and yet your heavenly father feeds them. Are you not worth much more than they? Um, Psalms 801.10 says, I am the Lord, am your God, who brought you up from the land of Egypt. Open your mouth wide, and I will fill it. My goodness, <laughs> ah! Lord, these scriptures. Um, Psalms 34 10 says, The young lions do lack and suffer hunger, but they who seek the Lord shall not be in want of any good thing. That's why I said, If your life lines up with the word of God, you're automatically blessed. It's our inheritance. Like, this is our inheritance. Um, Hebrews 13, 5 said, make sure that your character is free from the love of money. Oh, okay. He is instructing us too. Okay. Make sure that your character 
is free from the love of money, being content with that, with what you have. For he himself has said, I will never desert you, nor will I forsake you. I'm going to pull Hebrews 11 up so it can be right here on the video. Eleven. No, 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 not eleven. What I'm looking at? Hebrews thirteen and five. Okay, let your conversation. This is King James version right here. Got to be. Let your conversation be without covetousness and be content with such things as you have. For he has said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. Covetousness means free from the love of money. Let's see. The NIV. Let's see what that said. Okay. The NIV says, keep your lives free from the love of money and be content with what you have because God has said Never will I leave you. Never will I forsake. Okay. So he give us instructions too. Of who he is. And who we is. And what we are not to do. Genesis 9 3 says, Every moving thing that is alive shall be food for you. I give all to you as I gave the green plant. So, you shall neither hunger nor thirst. Of course, after righteousness, you should, but. <laughs> um we we don't we we shouldn't want for anything that's pretty much what the lord is saying let's look up the word provision because i want you to get the definition okay provision is the act of providing or supplying something for use so you see it here the similar words supplying supply providing delivering delivery i'm sorry furnishing donation giving equipping presentation and amount or things supplied or provided so um the facilities the services the equipment, oh my God, for my business people. Wow. The funds you need, the benefit, which is the money, the assistance you need, the means, which is still the money. Oh my goodness. Y'all, I did not deep, dig deep into this until now. So I'm, I'm learning right along with y'all of what the Lord is saying. Then he says, supply with food, drink, or equipment, especially for a journey. A journey. Uh, set aside an amount and organization account for a known liability. So God is saying that he will, he will provide what we need. Whether you need the building, the service, the equipment, and the means, the funds, the benefit. And guess what? Let me tell you something that he gave, gave me along with this. And this, this uh, automatically lines up with this because that is so funny that he said that okay look here let's see what I'm...
Y'all see how behave you type in the whole thing. <laughs> okay, here we go. Entourage. 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 He gave me this the same day that he gave me recompense and restitution. He also, February 24, 2023, he also gave me entourage. A group of people attending or surrounding an important person. <laughs> Woo! A escort, a company, a staff, an attendant, a bodyguard, groupies, retainers. We don't need no groupies. But uh, listen. With the, with the enemy meant for evil. God has worked it out for my good and your good and thy good. <laughs> but yes, y'all. Yes. Oh, let me show you a scripture that goes along with entourage. This thing, hold on, I'm probably going to have to go out and come back. Let me go out and come back. It's not moving up. No. It's not moving up, so I'm going to have to turn this thing on. Hold on. Let me cut the browser off. Yes, turn the browser off. And then I'm going to bring the browser back. Give me a minute, y'all. Give me a Okay, there we go. So let's enter add with it. Okay, so now let's bring up scriptures for unto. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hold on. I'm Okay, it said 13 instances. Chariots and horsemen also went up with him. So it was a very large entourage. Balaam responded to Balak's entourage by saying, even if. So basically, I just wanted to show you that entourage was in the word i love to um to um compare like when the lord speaks something to me i like to um show you that it's in the word i give scriptures for everything yep y'all i'm scared <laughs> i am i am not i am not falling off the wagon i am not i fear god like i fear god i fear you know, giving his people things um, that he did not say. That's why I sit on the words for so long. Y'all see, that was February 24, 2023. And I'm just now giving this word. Number one, I don't like to talk in front of the camera. So that's why you see the screen, but you don't see me. <laughs> you don't see me because like I hate, I hate being in front of the camera. It takes this in order for me to uh to do this like for real y'all i do not i'm not one that like when god speaks to me i'm a, i'm gonna sit there i'm gonna sit there and i know i know without a shadow of a doubt that he be want me to give his people what he's saying but i'm a people person but i'm not a people person like i love to be to myself a lot and so 
Um, when it comes to me having to, you know, uh, give a word or stand in front of somebody, like, listen, uh, uh-uh. <laughs> my nerves be shut, shot through the roof. Like it, it really be shot through the roof because, and the reason being is because I do fear God. I do fear what I'm telling God's people. Like, uh, honey, I gotta make sure that I know 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 <laughs> is from the Lord. So what I do is for the upcomers, um, prophets. If you want to know that God is speaking to you, because God speaks to our consciousness, which is our mind, which is our heart that God speaks to. And so God speaks to the heart of man. And so you have to be, you have to listen and you have to sit still and you have to be quiet because um, sometimes we can get so busy to the point where we cannot hear anything that God is saying to us. We're, we're, we're constantly going, 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 or constantly having somebody in our ears and things like that. So I wanted to give that nugget to the upcoming prophet. Listen, don't watch everything on YouTube. Um, make sure that um, what people are saying is lining up with the word of God. Don't just take people at their word please get knowledge and understanding and wisdom for yourself from the Lord, because he will teach you as well. Not saying, um, you know, don't, don't listen to anybody, but I'm saying don't listen to people more than you listen to God. Right. And another thing, like, um, when God speaks to you, when you hear a word of sort, um, go to the word and, 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 um, measure it against the word measure it against the word because uh you have three people speaking to you you have you you got the lord and you have the enemy and so um i want to make sure that it's god before i do anything anything and when you um have a fear of god you know that's the beginning of wisdom and so um like the word said, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And so when you fear God, you wouldn't want to get out here, you know, just because God says you my prophet, you wouldn't want to get out here and just do anything. You would remember God at all times. Trust me, you will remember him at all times with anything you do, anything you say, like you as a prophet of the Lord, not just as a prophet, but the fivefold ministry, where not, not just the offices, anything that you do as a servant of God, uh, because we are all servant. Like Jesus said, I didn't come to be served, but I came to serve. And that is my attitude. That is my attitude. I don't want anybody serving me. I want to do the serving because that's where the real blessings come from, for real. When you serve others, when you learn to ser serve others, Baby, listen, God will bless your socks off because oftentimes through the Bible, that's all they talk about. When you give the poor, you know, um, when we um help the homeless or uh, feed the homeless, when we um help the um poor, you know, it says poor in the Bible and stuff like that. Like when we help people. That is when God smiles. That's that's what make him smile. So I'm not doing this to gain followers, as Paul say. I'm not doing this to gain followers. I'm doing this to gain people for the Lord, followers for the Lord, so that you can follow Jesus through my journey. You can follow Jesus and you can see him in me and me in him because this is not about us. It's all for the glory of God, for God to get the glory, for God to be lifted up and he will draw all men unto him. So it is not for us to bring people to us. I don't want you to look at me. I want you to look at the Lord. I want, when I speak, I want you to hear the Lord, not Sirena. And this is what this channel is all about. So over here, you're safe. <laughs> over here, you are safe. I deny myself and I put others before me all the time. If God was here, he would tell you, I would deny myself and I would put you before I put myself because I want you to get it as well. I want people to understand 
who God is and how good he is and all of that for themselves. Not because um you listening to me and say, oh, uh, I don't like her or, you know, uh, you like, no, we got to come up out of that and we got to start listening to the words. And stop giving man so much credit. And I probably say this about it at the end of all of my videos. Stop giving man the credit and give God the credit because man don't know your life like that, but God do. And so when you start hearing the word, knowing and understanding that no man knows your life but God, then you will be able to listen to people without saying, oh my God, I don't like that. Oh my God, I don't like the way they speak. Oh my God, they just get on my nerve. They irk my nerve. You know, that kind of stuff. No, it is the Lord. So if somebody's irking your nerves, it's the Lord irking your nerve. But but he said he chastised those that he loved. So he don't care nothing about getting on your nerves. He don't care nothing about uh, you feeling some type of way, your, your feelings and your emotions and all of that. Listen, <laughs> trust me. I got a I got a testimony in that area where God don't care nothing about how you feel. He loves you, yes, but God does not want us to dwell in our emotions so our emotions can take over us. And then we're out here doing and saying and, and thinking um it's supposed to go our way. Not, then we start dabbling in self-righteousness and pityness and 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 um um what's the other word? Pride. <laughs> I didn't get on here to say all that, but I just wanted to give y'all the word of the Lord um, that God had been giving me, but I was sitting on it and I just wanted to put it out here uh, for it to just be out, out here because I am a servant of the Lord and who it reach, it reaches, you know, um, and who it reaches supposed to reach. Who watches it? Supposed to watch it. Who don't watch it? Don't supposed to watch it. <laughs> and so... You know, um, that's the way I look at things now. Like, Sarita, this is not about you. None of it. This is not about you. This is all for the glory of God. So God will send who he want you to have on your channel and who you need, who need you and you need them. Like he will send them. And so I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting for God to give me that entourage that is going to back me up with the word and you know that is going to keep me in alignment with the with the word and you know that particular thing because i don't want nobody getting on here that's going to tell me uh that i can keep seeing it and you know you you under you see me saying it and you say oh you can keep seeing it it don't matter i'm gonna stay here and i'm gonna back now nah, i don't want people around me like that i want people around me i need an entourage that's gonna tell me the truth and keep hold me accountable keep me in alignment with the lord with the spirit and hey we gonna grow we gonna grow but until then y'all listen please like this video share this video thumbs up this video um thumbs up thumbs down whatever you want to do because uh god still get the glory either way so it really don't matter but um everybody in order for this channel to get out in order for us to shut the wolves down. I need your help. I need your help to help push my channel out here so we can shut down the false prophets, the false apostles, the false teachers. Like we need to shut all of that down. And in order to shut that down, is for um more of us who are Bible um teachers who are teach the unadulterated word. Um, we need more of us, the remnant, to come up so so we can shut it all down. But until then, you would you would keep allowing the wolves and sheep clothing to keep growing, and more people go to their channel and stuff like that because a lot of people's eyes are not open to what's really happening right in front of them, the deception that is going on out here in this world. And I did a video on that because God gave me the word deception as well. It's so it's so much deception going on out here in this world. And so in order for this channel to, to get out, I need your help. And it'll help shut all of that down. So when they when when more people start coming learning the truth, because it's the truth what sets us free, not a lot. And me on my channel, I am not pampering nobody feelings. I don't care about nobody feelings. 
All I want is for you to learn the truth and the truth is what's going to set you free. So please subscribe to my channel, like this video or don't like it. Um, share this video with somebody who, um, it, who needs it, who needs it. You don't never know who life you're going to save. You never know who need this video. You'll never know who about to commit suicide. You don't never know who feel like giving up. But if you share this video with them and let them know that God loves them and God is still speaking and God is yet thinking about them and God is about to come through for his people, I guarantee you that tree that was about to die will come back alive. <laughs> okay? So, uh, just do me a favor. Just share it. Just share it. And we can get this out and, you know, uh, we can grow as a community together. And uh, that's it. Until next time, I will be talking to you guys later. Bye.